And you think there's a link between the beam and this... this organism thing? Yes, I do. I think that that beam was the method it used to get here. Well, now it's arrived. And it's hostile. And it's still here. So what do we do and how do we find it? Show us your tits and I'll tell you. Doctor Who turns 10 and the first two Doctors return, although one of them stuck in a pre-recorded terrarium. They must fight Omega, a Time Lord ruling a universe of antimatter from inside a black hole, and we must never allow Bob Baker and Dave Martin to teach astrophysics. The Doctor and Joe land inside a television inside your television and get tantalisingly close to an adventure with the Cybermen. However, their enemies are bureaucracy and fox-headed caterpillars. Excuse me, I resemble that remark. On the brink of a second interstellar war, both Earth and Draconia decide the Doctor and Joe are spies and lock them up in pyjamas as punishment. The Master steals the show one last time before shooting the Doctor in the face. The Daleks' greatest hits gives us invisibility, plague, ventilation shafts, comas, foam rocks, pacifism, warmongering, Prentice Hancock attempting to act, and completely forgetting to be a sequel to the last story. Joe leaves the Doctor to become a canary in a colliery in South Wales where a supercomputer has created deadly ooze and giant maggots. Joe kills them all with fungus, marries a bloke she's just met, and breaks our hearts forever. <laughs> if you enjoyed that episode of Doctor in 10 Seconds, please do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for a rapid randomizer review and thank you so much for watching.